Show me something that you spent way too much money on, but don't regret it at all because it's freaking sick. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. We're getting ready to install these new Vitaven diff housings with oversized bearings that'll hopefully solve my problem. Uh, these are going into my 150 mile an hour plus speed run car. This is where I need it most. Uh, almost every time I'm out, I completely destroy the small input bearing for the input gear. So here's the oversized one, here's the stock one. You can see it's almost twice as big and that's the bearing right there. I mean, just look at this quality machining, guys. Completely titanium, everything titanium. We got the Score Star C diff lockers. We've always been running these. I love these Score Star C diff lockers, but my gears are completely destroyed. So uh, I actually just have some brand new diff gear assemblies. So we're gonna just go ahead and take the brand new gears out of here. We'll clean all the gears up. We're gonna clean all this up with some parts cleaner. This is the only other place on RC I'll use the 271 red thread locker is on these uh, Scorch RC diff lockers. They even suggest that you use it. Uh, otherwise I only use this for the pinion and spur gears. So let's get all this cleaned up and we can get going. Ah. Freaking armor. Either the drop cups come off right away or they never come off. Well, that came off. Finally. Second one down. All right, we got the brand new gears all cleaned up. Now we just gotta get our diff lockers apart with the old gears off and get the new gears on. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Clean up all the pieces nice and good before you glue them. We'll go ahead and replace that with a new one. All right, these diff lockers are pretty simple. We're getting ready to set them. Uh, you got the center spool. It has a flat spot here for the two grub screws that go in the gear holder. So that'll slip straight on. You'll line it up with that. And then you got a flat spot on each side for the drive cup grub screw. But first, before we do that, we'll go ahead and put the gear on. And of course, you can't forget the mustard sauce, the 271 thread locker. Shake that up because this is gonna go straight ham. This is a straight mustard sauce. Going straight ham into the 160s.
dry. Everything's dry fit. And guys, you definitely want 271 Loctite on these two grub screws. That's definitely what Sports RC says. the diff lockers already they're gonna dry overnight uh, while they're drying we're gonna go ahead and set the input gear into the diff housings um, I'm gonna go ahead and oil up the outside of these bearings there's already a bunch of grease packed on the inside so we'll just oil up the outsides with this here score star C oil, oil bearing pen uh, wipe off the excess and then uh, I got these aftermarket drive cups these work great with the score star C drive shafts. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. I'm too lazy to take them off my limit list right now. So the ones that are on there will just become extra. And we'll just go ahead and get these completely built and ready to go before we put it on the car and make them look all sexy. These have literally been drying for a week. I'm about to install them now, and then we could grease them all up and oil them. If the grub screws come undone, then there's something wrong, because they've been drying for a while. Just listen to that bearing. Smooth. Smooth. Okay, let's get these installed. Every single screw that goes into this diff housing will get Loctite. the back's all done ready to go we're gonna do the same thing to the front off camera and then we'll bring it back on and we should be all ready to test it out so I'm checking to see if I gotta shim my discs before I install them uh, I'm putting them in dry no grease or anything so there's a little bit of play in there and you don't want the diff gear to be able to it's already tight and if it gets forced over, it'll get even tighter. So we're going to go ahead and I think I figured out three shims on this side, made it perfect. 
and it gave it a good mesh in the differential. So three shims. I think in the plastic housings, I had to shim the opposite side. So we're shimming this side to push the gear away from the input gear so it's not too tight. And now we got a nice little mesh going on. Perfect little, just a subtle, subtle little mesh. Yeah, all right. The front and the back's all put together. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the car together. Uh, it's almost the middle of the night. I got lights. I'm gonna go ahead and do a night run and hope for the best. read 150 come on well that's a pv at night guys that's actually pretty good all right guys that was an epic first run with the new diff housings we hit 150 mile per hour at night which is a new record for me at night it's four mile an hour underneath my 154 mile an hour pb and so far the diff housings held up great uh, as you can see, the input bearings held up fine. That's why I was most worried about. Uh, I haven't opened them up to check the gears, but I guarantee the gears are fine. So we hit 150 mile an hour. Everything was going great. And then we tried to do a second run to try and break my PB and we lost power around 136 mile an hour. <laughs> Unfortunately, the diff housing is held up, but my XLX2 did not. I had a motor wire desolder itself from the motherboard, so it ended up losing power halfway through my run and just came to a stop in the middle of the road and almost got ran over by a car. Luckily, the people saw it and they're nice and they got out of the way and left it alone. Uh, if you guys want to see that full run, I made a separate video of all the night runs that ha and everything that happened that night. So I'll leave a link down in the description of that video if you want to check it out. Also, these parts, any parts you've seen in this video will be down in the description. Um, if you're a new watcher, make sure you hit that subscribe button and fiddle that bell so you don't miss any of these epic speedrun videos this summer. Thanks for watching.